Hey, what's up, y'all? Pete here, just responding to the Silver Circle movies, V, Weeks of V, the uh, third one about uh, sharing a story when I've used silver in my community. Uh, there's a lot, of, actually, a lot of stories I could share here. I'm in Keene, New Hampshire, so a lot of people are uh, actively using silver and uh, other alternative means of currency. But uh, in particular, I just wanted to bring up one. It actually wasn't done here in the Shire, but it was done in St. Louis when I was on the road. And uh, it's at a place called the St. Louis Bread Company, which is also um, essentially just a rebranded Panera under the same company, just a different uh, model. But uh, this one in particular was in uh, the west side of St. Louis, and it takes uh, donations. So they have suggested prices um, for items gotten. So instead of just saying like when you check out and you owe us 872 or whatever, they say it's suggested donation of nine bucks. And they found a lot of people that have the means paid a little bit forward to help take care of the people that aren't able to provide, uh, to pay for a meal themselves. And, uh, other ways to go about getting a meal can be gotten by just working in, for a few hours at this particular location. So anyway, a pretty innovative business model. And after I paid for my food there, I offered the uh, employee some silver as his tip. So I just want to share that clip. Let's give him uh, five grams of Shire silver. And, uh, this is some currency some folks are trying to use in New Hampshire. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, kind of get around the fiat currency. Wow, I love it. For the most so you hear him say, I love it. So um, every time you use silver, especially with people unfamiliar with silver or other alternatives to Federal Reserve notes, it, it really, it's, a, it's an educational thing for one, but also more importantly even is that it is a way that you personally can delegitimize the FRNs and the stranglehold that uh, some, what I would say, criminals in D.C. claim to have. Uh, some people th say they have a right to monopolize the money supply, and that really doesn't make sense, and we've seen what their claimed right um, leads them to do to lock up people affiliated with Liberty Dollar and other uh, alternative currencies. But anyway, good to see um, silver starting to be used more readily here in, here in the Shire. We have Shire uh, silver, which are strips of silver in a laminated card. We also have silver dime cards. Some folks out in uh, Phoenix spearheaded that, kicking that off. And those are, uh, they actually have somebody else replicating that now. So it's pretty cool to see. Um, there's also another guy who's making uh, suns, silver suns, so they're uh, essentially, you think about an ounce of silver, instead of a round, it's a bar, and then the bar is cut into little rectangles, so each rectangle is a tenth of, of an ounce of silver, so uh, they're called suns, they have a sun stamped onto them with the weight and the uh, purity listed, so uh, be on the lookout for those. So anyway, a lot of, uh, a lot of good things happening, as John Bush has said. In his uh, conference last fall, when speaking to the Dallas in the Fed rally, he, you know, he, he encouraged people, if you really want to uh, erode this violent institution and delegitimize this bad idea, then just stop using their currency. And obviously, uh, it's, it could be tough depending on what your occupation is and, and what bills you have to pay and things. But as we each continue to transition that way away from um, the fiat currency that can be printed and controlled and manipulated, um, by a small group of people, you know, with no checks, then uh, I, I really encourage you to check out silver and other alternative means. So open banking as well. So, all right, take care. <laughs>